coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The government of St. Lucia, with assistance from the government of Taiwan, had opened the Grozile Human Resource Development Center. The freshly opened center is equipped with facilities such as an auditorium, a restaurant, a music studio, a conference room and office spaces. Parliamentary representative for the constituency of Grosley, Honorable Leonard Montout, explained that the centre can be used to enable a rebirth of creativity, which can be highlighted as an extension of the Grosley Friday night experience. The Republic of China Taiwan has completed over 2,400 projects across St. Lucia via the Constituency Development Programme. The President of the Republic of China Taiwan, Her Excellency Tai Ing Wen, during her state visit was a guest of honor at the opening ceremony. The carnival season culminated with an exciting, fun filled two day street parade of live bands and DJ music, stunning carnival costumes, and the joyous and energetic revelry typical of Caribbean carnivals. St. Lucia Carnival 2019 consisted of a variety of competitions, including the ever popular Power and Groovy Monarch panorama competition and the inter-commercial house calypso competition, dozens of community events and a continuous calendar of events. Under the leadership of the Cultural Development Foundation and in collaboration with all stakeholders, St. Lucia Carnival is recognized as one of the top carnivals in the Caribbean and becomes a more vibrant and creative carnival each year. Ten years after the initial fire that destroyed the hospital, the government of St. Lucia and the government of Taiwan have promised the people of the South that the new hospital is on its way. The Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator Honorable Mary Isaac, expressed confidence in the government of the Republic of China Taiwan to bring the project to fruition. Funding for the hospital includes 10 million US dollars, which was left over from an existing loan with Taiwan, and an additional 20 million US dollars, totaling 30 million US dollars. The Taiwanese President, Her Excellency Tai Ing Wen, has long hoped to support the reconstruction efforts. The 90 bed facility will cater to both inpatient and outpatient services and will see the construction of a new wing to incorporate all the functions and services of the existing East and Surgical Wings. There will be integration through retrofitting of some existing building to achieve a fully functioning hospital which will match the services of a level 4 hospital. This has been your midday news brief. Thank you for watching.